Okay, everyone. Okay. As most of you know, I'm volunteering at a state park. And there's very little room in an RV to do crafting. So, what I did was I filled this box. And it's not too big, but it's pretty big. I filled this box with embellishments and papers and took them with me. And this is what I made with it. I made some sleeves with little tags in them. And I think I got one, two, three. Um, these are just sleeves I haven't finished. So I'll set those aside. These are some embellishments I didn't use. I had some journaling cards I didn't use yet. I made some clusters. Another journaling card. And these can be used to decorate tags. They can be used to decorate journal pages. Um, they can be used to decorate cards. They can be used as um, tuck spots. But yeah, I just I wanted to use up all these old embellishments I had. These are my paper clips. Some more paper clips. Um, another started on Christmas, and I haven't put my ribbons or anything on them yet. But I did get some little sleeves and tags made for Christmas. Um, a bunch of clusters. Working towards another nautical journal. So I went ahead and made some um, clusters up for that that aren't finished yet. I have to add some more to them. Um, August challenge in beginning crafter friends was using book using up the book and magazine pages so I used book pages in clusters and let's see I write many of these I painted a lot of the book pages too but um yeah I wanted to use up all the book pages I had taken with me so I wouldn't have so many laying around here mainly um this is going to go in the nautical journal when I get ready to put that together <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering how this webcam works see you don't use it you forget about it um let's see just tons of these just tons of clusters I built many envelopes with journaling cards and all of these are filled now so they're ready to go in journals just cut out some different little stuff that I could use in journaling and yeah basically it's all tags clusters and journaling cards that I will be using in different journals I'll be making and since I do a lot of travel journals for you know volunteers that I meet along the way I'm doing a lot with the camping theme too let's see book pages clusters um this is the background that came with some stamps I got and I put them in my binder so I just saved this plastic it came on and cut it up and turned it, turned it into a cluster let's see so as you can see the box is pretty full and I emptied out two drawers that I had just full of different embellishments and things so that cleared up a lot of my space and it gives you more room but for anybody else at RVs and wants to craft and they say I don't have space my husband sets me up a um, screen house outside usually over the picnic table because we don't eat outside I don't like bugs in my food so um, that's where I do most of my crafting and I just keep a small box and a tote for my crafting supplies. But see, where we're at now, we come home. We're there four days and we're home three days. So it's not so bad because I can carry stuff back and forth. Now, when I went out before, the entire underneath storage on the queen size bed, we were gone for three months straight and didn't come home. But that entire underneath storage on that queen size bed was my craft supplies. 
and again I set up outside so this is just a little few little tips for things that you can do if you're in an RV traveling around and you still want to do some crafting you can you know just use anything you can get sales papers cut the people out of them and put them on tags for journals you can you don't have to go out and buy stuff if you're happen to be camping near a Walmart or a Michaels that's a plus but if you're not you know use what you can find there I have made a complete travel journal out of brochures from the ranger station so it's really pretty easy um, another thing I am doing is in the um, while we're camping is I showed you guys the trifolds I'm making for Christmas now I am painting and gel printing some of the envelopes that I will be sending the trifolds out in for Christmas with different tags and things in them but um again the gel plate is thin it doesn't take much space um and the envelopes you know they're thin the trifold right now is thin because i haven't put my pockets of stuff in it but i'm gonna bring that home today um let's see i used up a lot i think i left those there but i used up a lot of my tin hold paper dolls let's see where else was in that bag that I finished? Oh, I finished several journals actually. I finished the vintage journal I was working on. I did the ta tassel on it and the cover. Um, I have. a lot of um these larger bags i didn't think to take any with me and i did put a closure on it which is not very tight right now but um yeah i kind of enjoyed this part of it because i could sit at night while he was watching tv and do this on um just a little tv tray actually and i put some of the tim holtz little charms on here that you insert the pictures in um a lot of beads i did a lot of beads which i don't usually do that many beads on one i've got a little gold arrow with some bling on it some little strings some lace but yeah this one is complete now and i'm happy it is um this is the one that's going to my sister-in-law and it is complete in total vintage from the papers to the um, decorations, even the beads on there came off of the necklace. And um, I finished my Halloween journal, but I don't know where it is. I must have left it there. So that will be something I show you next week. I know this video is all over the place, guys. Um, I just wanted to get a video done and one up. I did not go live the whole time I was home. Had a little bit of setbacks with some health issues. And I think I did go live the first day I was home, but I just wasn't feeling well. So, this is done. And, you know, I'm following Shelly at Crafting Mama's little example of, um, you know, finish what you've started and i have a lot of unfinished projects so that is what i'm taking into the rv to finish next week i will be doing some outdoor crafting to show you guys my setup there and um that's it for right now i'm leaving again tomorrow and i will be home again on sunday so i really hope when i come back i'm filling up to picking up my regular schedule again and I'll see you all soon. Okay, bye-bye.